Hello, and welcome to the video. In this video we will show you, how to install a small menu reader system in your Unity game engine. We will use the text-to-speech, TTS, to read the contents of the menu, and also navigate through it. So, we will begin by creating a new scene. We go ahead and create a UI button. This also automatically creates a canvas first. A canvas contains all of our user interface, UI, elements. We centralize and then duplicate the buttons, so we now have two buttons. We call one button the quit button. After that make sure to select both of them. I change their selected color to green, so they'll highlight green when selected. We will now go ahead and change their navigation. Make sure to do explicit navigation. And make sure that they navigate up and down in the correct way. Go ahead and save the project right away. Then go ahead and create a new c -sharp script. Call it the Canvas Reader. Open it up in Visual Studio. We begin by entering the Unity Engine.UI namespace. We'll also make sure to include the Read Speaker namespace to access the TTS functionality. We'll go ahead and create a new variable called speaker, which will hold reference to a TTS speaker. We also create a variable called initially selected. This will hold a reference to a selectable component. We also create a variable called delay. This will be the delay in seconds between reading different UI elements. We go ahead and create a function called read canvas. This function reads the canvas from start to finish. We also create an IE numerator coroutine. We call it the canvas reader coroutine. So we begin by choosing the initially selected to be the selectable, which we should read. We'll also use a while loop, and we'll say while selectable to read is not equal to null. We'll also create the function called readSelectable, which takes a selectable as an input. Create a new text variable. We'll then check if the selectable is a button. If the selectable is in fact a button, we'll go ahead and get the text component from the child elements. And we'll extract the text from there. We then say that our speaker should speak this text by invoking tts.say. So while we have a selectable to read that is not equal to null, we should read that selectable. We should also select it. Then we'll do a wait until. So we will make sure the Coradine waits until the audio source of the speaker has stopped playing. So when it stopped playing it means that the speaker has finished speaking. Then we also want to make sure that we wait for the delay. Once that is done, we should check what the next navigation element is. So we begin by checking if we have something to our right. In that case we should set the next selectable to read to be the selectable to the right of the current element and then check. If there exists no such element, we should instead try to navigate downwards. You can implement this logic however you like, this is basically the navigation logic. So it will depend on how your menu looks, slash how your UI looks. But for a simple case we can do it like this. So now we can say that our read canvas function should in fact start to coroutine.
which we called a canvas reader coroutine. And that is it for the initial setup. Then test this out by doing it upon startup before we can do that we must call tts.init to initialize the tts system, and then we can invoke the read canvas function. We'll also make sure that we have some way to restart the reading. In this case we'll do it once the user presses the R button. So that should first interrupt all current speakers, and also stop all current coroutines, and then it should read the canvas again. We'll save this and go back into the Unity editor. This will compile it for us. Now I notice that I haven't given the buttons the appropriate text. So go ahead and change the text components of the buttons to correspond to play and quit. Now we can add the canvas reader component, which we just created to our canvas and we'll also create a speaker, so we can define the speech characteristics. As you can see once we created a speaker we will also need a reference to an audio source. So we go ahead and attach an audio source to the speaker, so we can preview how the voice sounds. And we give a reference to the newly created speaker, in the canvas reader component. I sound like this. And we also set the initially selected to be the play button. We set the delay to one second. And now we can try it out. Play. Quit. As you can hear it reads the menu elements play. and also selects them. Quit. We can press R to restart the navigation and reading. Play. Play. So this is how you Quit. successfully implement a canvas reader which reads a Unity canvas and navigates through the appropriate UI elements. Hopefully this tutorial wasn't too hard to follow. Feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comments below. Want to know more about our Runtime TTS Unity plugin? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated, or visit our readspeaker.ai website.